Have you ever gone to the grocery store with your mother and got this speech when you got there? You know the speech I'm talking about. Yeah, that speech. Junior, when we get in this store, don't touch a darn thing, don't ask for a darn thing, and you ain't getting a darn thing. So why is it that sometimes she says, Sleeping with, uh, with... Yeah, I know she's supposed to be married to Jason. Yeah, and she be up there trying to act like she doing everything right. Mm-hmm, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby, you can get that. I know, girl, right? And other times, she says... Yeah, just left Jason, uh, just left them hanging. Boy, put that back there where you got that from. Boris Kojo or something. She must have had a... Cheese and crackers! What the heck happened over here? Let me call you back. First of all, who you pointing at, little boy? This is so confusing. I don't understand. Why? It's because sometimes there's going to be enough money in the budget. Other times, ain't no budget. Don't ask. Do you know what a budget is? A budget is when there's a certain amount of money set to the side for a certain particular thing. That being the case, that money has a limit. That's right. I said limit. All money has a limit. Therefore, it has to have a budget in place to make sure you don't overextend. Try this. Next time you go to the grocery store with mama, ask her if you can have the shopping list. She asks why. Tell her you want to help. Take that list and overestimate everything on it. For example, if it costs $2.10, just say it costs $3. If it costs $1.75, just say it costs $2. The whole idea is to stay under the budget. So if you can overestimate and stay under the budget, now you can ask for that candy bar or that toy or whatever it was you were trying to get. Wow, that really makes sense. And remember, when you're making sense, you're making money.